Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Where are you? I am currently standing in front of the Fidelity Building on Market Street in San Francisco. How do I get to the Ferry Building? To get to the Ferry Building from here, you can walk east on Market Street for about 1.5 miles. The Ferry Building will be on your right near the Embarcadero. Hello and welcome. In this video, we will show how to make a Convey project built in Unity AR compatible. Convey brings human-like characters to your augmented or AR projects built in Unity. With Convey, create characters who can have conversations, know their current location, possess specialized knowledge, and even execute actions or commands. Great use cases include tour guides, expert tutors, and NPCs in games that take advantage of AR's unique perspective. In this video, we'll go over both the automatic and manual setup processes. Automatic setup is recommended if your project is new or if you don't mind your project settings changing. All steps will be performed automatically and your project will be eligible for AR build. An important note, if an existing project has project settings that you do not want to change, you should refer to the manual setup section. First, we'll walk you through the automatic setup process. Later, we'll go through the manual setup process. Refer to the links in the description for more details as well as how to set up and adjust the size of your own characters. Before starting the installation, let's open the console so that we can follow along. Press Window, General, Console. Place the console somewhere and scale it up. Let's open the Convey Custom Package Installer window. Click on the Convey tab and then Convey Custom Package Installer and then click on the Install AR Package from inside the pop-up window. In the confirmation screen, all changes that will be made to your project are explained and approval is requested. Once you give your approval, the process will start. The console will display the installation logs. This process may take three to five minutes, depending on your computer. If you encounter an error like failed to resolve packages, there's no need to worry. The process will continue and the error will be resolved automatically after the package installations are complete. After installation is finished, we can clear the console. We can also close the custom package installer window. Now open the Convey Scenes Convey Demo AR demo scene. If the TMP imported window appears, this means TMP Essentials are not installed in your project. Click Import TMP Essentials to install Text Mesh Pro Essentials for UI text objects. After importing TMP Essentials, we can remove the empty game object in the scene that triggers the prompt window to appear. Let's quickly save our project using the shortcut Control S. Now let's ensure that you've set up your API key found in Convey, Convey Setup. Everything should be now ready for testing. Let's build the project by going to File, Build Settings, and let's make sure that our Convey Demo AR scene is included in the build. The platform should be set to Android. All of this should have happened automatically, so now let's press the Build button. Inside of your root project folder, let's create a new folder that will make things easier for tracking. Now we can name our file convey AR test and press save. We just need to wait for the build to finish. Once the build is complete, we can install it on our phone and test it. Now let's go over the manual setup. This section will cover how we perform a manual setup for an existing project. The project we'll use can be found under Unity's AR pathway on the Unity Learn website. It's called John Lemon's Haunted Jaunt. There's a link in the description. All AR related packages have been installed in this project. Now we'll add Convey to the scene to get it working in augmented reality. First, we'll need the following packages installed in our project. Let's go to the Window tab, Package Manager, and then select In Project. Now scan down the list to make sure that we have installed the Google AR Core XR plugin and the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP. If you don't have these packages installed, you can select Unity Registry from the Packages drop-down list. Once we've verified these packages have been installed, we'll install our AR package. Method 2, Manual Setup. Inside the Assets folder, open Convey, then Convey Custom Unity Packages, and double-click on the Convey AR Upgrader. You'll see a warning that the settings will overwrite your project settings. 
Here we'll use the import option and then we'll choose which project settings will be overwritten in the following steps. In the import unity package window, review the assets to be imported and click next. We can now select the packages we want to overwrite. This sample uses special project settings and graphic settings, so we don't want to override those. But if your project does not have custom settings, you can add them. Now let's add our AR base scene prefab to our scene from the convey AR folder we just imported to our project. We can drag and drop this in our project hierarchy. In this scene, we'll spawn a portal. The convey AR package offers a tap to spawn character spawning system by default. Now let's add the prefab of the character or object you want to spawn. Expand the convey AR base scene object in our scene. Then click on the convey AR player object. In the character prefab section of the convey character spawner component, we'll add the character or object we want to spawn. One important note, our character must have the convey MPC component. If this component is missing, you can press add component and search for the convey MPC and then click to add it to our character. Now we'll name our character. Here we'll use John Lemon. Let's paste our character ID from the convey playground into the character ID field and your character should be ready. Open Project Settings under Edit Project Settings. Make sure there are no errors in the Project Validation section under XR Plugin Management in the Project Settings. Then activate Google AR Core under the Plugin Providers. Let's also ensure that we are in the Android section as we are developing on the Android platform. In addition, make sure that Initialize XR on Startup is enabled. Next, we can change the ray length and vision cone angle to enable us to speak to our MPC from a more natural distance. Now let's ensure that we've set up your API key by going to Convey, Convey Setup. Now everything should be ready for testing. Build your project by going to File, Build Settings, and now make sure that the scene we want to build is included in the Scenes in Build. Double check to make sure that the Android platform is selected. Now we're ready to build. Let's create a folder and we can call it build test. Now open that folder and we'll name our file convey AR test and save. I found a door, can you check it? Yes, I'll check the door. Give me a moment. Okay, okay, but be careful. Please really be careful. I'll be cautious, I promise. Once again, please explore the links in the description of this video for detailed information regarding both automatic and manual installation. The links also include information about how to add and adjust the scale of your own character. Thanks for watching. As always, come by our Discord for any questions or email us at support at convey.com.